All right, I'm going to show you how to create shapes um, and implementing typography into them. So I'm going to turn uh, the source file off so you could see a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and type out um, just the word zine. And then I'm going to use my black arrow and kind of move it into place. I'm going to make my font a little smaller. Um, so I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to type first, okay? And then you can make a shape using the pen tool, um, the rectangle tool, anything that you can make a closed off shape, um, whatever tool that may be, is considered a shape. Okay, so with my, I'll do the ellipse tool for now. So I'm going to just click and drag, and here I have a circle. It does not matter that it's filled in. I'm going to kind of place it over here and maybe move my text over here. Your text does not have to overlap with your shape. I can have my text over here. The important thing is, is that your shape has to be the very last thing you make because the reason why is because we need to make it, make sure it's a top object. So anything you do last in Illustrator means that it's a top object. So there's two ways that you can select everything, black arrow, click and drag, and I don't have to click and drag around the entire thing. I could literally just touch part of it and it automatically selects everything. Or I can click on the circle, hold shift down with my black arrow and click on zine and now everything is selected. So I want zine to form in the shape of the circle. So now I go to object, envelope to store, make with top object because we just made the circle as our top object. And then what happens is the fill goes away and now our shape is, our font is in the shape of a circle. Now up here at the top it says envelope, edit the envelope, so you can edit it this way, make sure you hold shift to keep it proportionate. You could also edit the typography. So here I can select the typography, maybe I want it red, maybe I want to change the font, you can change it um, with your font category. And then you can go back into edit envelope and set it in place. You could rotate it. Maybe you want your circle rotated a little. Maybe you want to lower the opacity of it, which you could do as well. So here are, this is a really nice way if you want to add like different shapes, you do have to make sure that it's legible. Like you want to make sure there's some sort of artistic direction behind it. Maybe all of your font falls into these shapes. There's plenty of shapes you can make. I will tell you if I want to do like the polygon tool. If I click on here, I can set how many sides I want. So if I want to do a triangle, that's three sides. I will tell you that it's really hard with triangular shapes. So I'm just going to do high. And I did my triangle first. So I'm going to go up to object, arrange, bring to the front because I need that in the front. I'm going to hold shift down. I have my black arrow selected and I'm clicking on high and then I go to object, envelope to store, make with top object because I brought my um, triangle to the front. So see what happens in triangular shapes. They kind of don't know what to do with the angle of the lines. Um, it does look pretty interesting though if you can fit it into your design somehow. Um, and then again, we can go to the edit. I've never, I'm going to try type um, create outlines and I'm going to try and put a brush stroke on this. Oh, and it works. And here I'm going to lower it down. So you can turn it into an outline and put brush strokes on it if you want. I'm going to go ahead and edit it again. I'm going to turn the fill off and leave it just on the stroke. And that looks a lot better. You could read that a little bit better.